Thank you, Tatiana. Well, more to our back to school coverage. The first week of in person classes drawing to a close in some upstate districts. That includes Greenwood School District 50 and 51, where school officials say students are adjusting to a new way of learning. We're going to get an update now from 7 News' Christine Scarpelli live in Greenwood at Lakeview Elementary. Christine, I got a question for you. Kids in mask heard that one mom yes. saw that her son traded a mask with his friend. Mom was mortified, but how are these folks going to keep these kids informed about the importance of well, keeping their own mask on? I know you got other stuff to tell us, but answer that too. I know. No, that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got a great interview to ask for sure. In a couple seconds, we're going to show you a video. So this is something that has been probably played on TikTok a gazillion times, right? We've got Kayla Beard here with us this morning, music teacher here, Lakeview Elementary. All right, so we've got a couple helpful resources, Kayla. Tell me, if you don't mind, we, we have some parents that have been complaining kids don't exactly wear the masks right one student actually traded with another student mask oh my goodness. your eyes just got big i know can you imagine but how have things been going here at, at greenwood i know at lakeview elementary you said even better than expected better than expected i think that we all thought that it was going to be um a little bit harder than it actually was yeah. um, the kids have been really compliant they know that it's serious so whether their parents have been telling them how serious this is or um, our administrators and teachers have been expressing how important it is for the, te uh, the children to wear their mask correctly. Yeah. Um, we haven't, the first two days, we didn't see a single student without a mask on. Wow, and, unbelievable. Yeah. So they've been they've been doing great and very proud of them. Uh, Kayla, I think it's a testament to you guys being very organized and and ready to go with those students. Those students being, um, I think, more mature than yes, maybe their age I think says. So. Okay, we've got some pictures. We've got some Wi-Fi hotspots that are all over Greenwood County. That I'm sure is very helpful because you guys offer three options. There's yep. an five day in person option Monday through Friday. They're going back in class and A B rotation and then E learning. Very impressive stuff. That's right. Okay. Along with that, there's a there's a video. I call it a TikTok video, but it's Savage Love, a song by Jason Derulo. Mm -hmm. You took the lyrics and what changed it up a little? I did, I did. <laughs> it's uh, something I. It's like a hobby, I guess. I really enjoy doing things like that. Oh my gosh, I can hear it in the background, so that means the viewers are watching it. Yes. And you basically have a beautiful voice and recreated the proper way to what? Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Um, watch your distance. Six feet away. Look at that. Um, and the right things that you're supposed to do to take those precautions to stay safe. Sounds like you're just doing this as a fun, creative supplement to rules and regulations that are yes. new, right? Super fun. The kids love it. The teachers love it. District, I got everybody involved this time. I thought it would be super fun to have nurses and the superintendent and lots of district personnel in on the video as well. You know, I give you a lot of credit. I think this is a fun way to go ahead and get the kids excited about it, to learn how to do it well. Yak is still here at play, guys. All right, what do you think? Rate Kayla's video, because she worked pretty hard on that video. <laughs> yeah. Loving that video. And I see that you can see it on the school's great? YouTube yeah. page, so you can watch that. Thanks a lot, Christine. There you go. Well, coming up on Pop Topics, 